Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, and today I'm bringing you guys my next Let's Play Clash of Clans episode. Alright guys, so I guess I have to reintroduce you guys to Chief Fat 2 because it's been so long. Obviously, this is my second account. You can see that the base design is way different from the last time that you've seen it just because the fact that Clan Wars has come out. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second over a replay. But first, let's look at what we want to upgrade today. So looking at this Dark Elixir drill, I already have the other one to level 4, so maybe I could try to get that one to level 4. And then as far as gold goes, I could get the last Tesla to level 6, or I could save up for the cannon or maybe one of my Expos or even my Clan Castle upgrade. Alright, so first of all, let's look at this defensive replay and talk about my new base design. Let me start off by saying this isn't an original design. I think I took this from someone we attacked in Clan Wars, and it worked really well against my clan, so I thought, if you can't beat them, why not copy their base design? And uh, it's been okay to me. It's not the best anti-hog design. That's what the base design is all about. Um, for people who don't know what like an anti-hog design is, it's meant to combat against hog riders. And it has a base with like a circular amount of, def or it has like the defenses are lined up in a circle on the outside. So what I'm trying to do, this guy actually didn't attack me with hogs, but what I'm trying to do when someone attacks me with hogs is... Hopefully what happens is they attack, they drop all their hog riders, and their hog riders are going to run in a circle, but they're never going to make their way to the center. So it's going to take a long time for the hogs to get their way around my base. On the ride around my base, they're actually going to run into giant bombs, they're going to run into spring traps, into regular bombs, as well as my mortars and my expos in the center will be shooting at them the entire time. So that's sort of what an anti-hog base is all about. And it's worked pretty well for me. I've seen some other anti-hog bases that are way better. So I might try to switch it up in just a little bit. But you can see it was actually pretty successful in this attack. All right, you can see those two giant bombs on there exploding. And what's sort of significant about that is I actually built my giant bombs. If you guys were sort of looking at my base beforehand, I had never built them. Because it, they used to be like 50,000 gold each for a giant bomb uh, back in the day. But... Now that they've lowered the price a little bit, now that there's clan wars and you're trying to combat against those hog riders, I did finally suck it up and build those bombs. I've upgraded them to level 3, and it's worked out pretty well for me. So looking at the rest of this guy's attack, he's actually using an attack that my base is pretty weak against, but he sort of screwed up in the beginning with the lure of the clan castle, so it turned out pretty well. Um, but bases like this, and like anti-hog bases, they're really susceptible to being attacked from like one side. So since the defenses are so spread out, there's all those wizard towers on the top, all those cannons, those archer towers that never really attack anyone. This type of base is actually really weak against someone who has maybe golems, maybe wizards, stuff that does a lot of damage and just goes straight through the center. So I did end up winning that defense, um, but yeah, it's worked out pretty well, especially against hog riders, but we'll see what happens. I might switch it up in the next episode. All right, looking at a couple raids today, I finally did find some raids, so let me tell you why I haven't posted a Let's Play episode in a long time. First of all, I've been focusing on Clan Wars on my main account, so when I do play on that account, I've really just been trying to raid for the wars, um, which I've been having a great time with, but also, as far as like loot goes and finding bases, it has been a nightmare. So, usually I'm the guy who's like... On the forums, I see people posting about loot, saying loot's terrible, and I'm like, hey, you guys got to try this trophy range, you've got to try this, you've got to try this, but um, as far as my rating goes, it's been taking me a lot of time to find a base, and it's been pretty bad. So even though this Let's Play episode is only, I think, eight minutes long, it probably took me an hour and a half of rating just to find a couple bases to attack. So... Generally, when you can't find a lot of loot, what you want to do is you want to switch up your trophy range. So I think I started the day at maybe 1,800 to 1,900 trophies, and I couldn't find any loot there. So I started going down 100 trophies at a time, and I finally settled down at like 1,450 to 1,500. And I finally found a raid like you see this one right here. But really, loot has been a pretty big struggle as far as the gold lead goes. So... I've been, yeah, I've just, it's sort of demoralizing when you try to do a Let's Play episode and I sit down and I say, hey, I'm ready to raid, I'm ready to do some upgrades, and then after 20 minutes straight of clicking the next button without finding a base with over 350,000 resources, it's sort of just like, ugh, I just spent 20 minutes of my life clicking the next button, I'm down 100,000 gold from all that time wasted, and it just, it just stinks. So I've been a little bit demoralized, um, but... 
I have heard from other people that farming in the Crystal League is the new thing. I've heard that you can find some pretty good loot up in Crystal. You might not be able to use the same strategy since bases are going to be a little bit better protected up there, but I'm thinking in the next episode, I might try going up to Crystal and see how the farming is up there. I don't know how you guys are doing as far as loot goes. You can drop me a comment about how it's been to you. Maybe you found a ton of loot. Uh, that's obviously great. You should definitely share what your trophy range is, but if you're like me and you're struggling to find loot, um, I'm looking for answers too, and I will keep you guys updated as soon as possible but i can tell you guys i've been playing on this account since i think january of last year it's pretty sad i'm only like a beginning of a town hall nine but i really don't play it that much but i've been playing this account for a year and four months and this is definitely the worst i have ever seen loot um as far as the gold league goes so it's a little bit sad but i'm definitely not going to quit on this account i'm going to keep playing it um I've been getting a lot of resources from Clan Wars, actually, because we've been winning all these wars, and then at the very end, we've been able to snipe the town halls and get, like, a free 800,000 resources, so it's been pretty nice there, plus all the collector stuff, plus I have been farming when I can, um, but overall, it's been a bit of a bummer, and I guess that's why you haven't seen as many Let's Play episodes, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this next attack right here. This guy has over 520,000 resources. Once again, I'm not finding these bases base after base. Each base takes, like, 10 to 15 minutes of searching now so it's been a little bit of a drag but when i saw this guy this guy actually had a base where not everything's going to be in the mines and pumps but you can see i did bring in two dragons and if you guys are ever using my ultimate lazy farming strategy which i've showed you guys in that really long video um if you're like a town hall nine or maybe even a town hall eight sometimes you can sub maybe 10 archers and 30 goblins and instead of bringing those guys bring two dragons so it actually turned out being really helpful for me right here because even though this guy didn't have all his resources like in his mines and pumps i was able to drop my dragons on the top and because of the fact that his air defense was so weak up there they took out a lot of the buildings right away so while my dragons did work on like the town hall and a couple of the storages i also dropped my barbarian or my giants and goblins on the bottom and those guys ended up taking the rest of the resources so it's sort of nice to bring some dragons with you when you use the strategy because sometimes you find some bases that it might not work perfectly um just bringing goblins and archers and, and uh giants but the dragons really saved me here, and I feel like they helped me get all of the resources for this base. So we're at about 120,000 left, and since that is a pretty significant amount of resources, it is worth it dropping the rest of my troops. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my goblins. Those guys are going to break through the walls and take care of that gold storage. And then finally, they're going to make their way to this dark elixir storage and regular elixir storage, and that should give me the rest of the resources on this base. So I decided to go all, all out. I dropped my archer queen. I dropped my barbarian king. I dropped everything. And in the end, we ended up getting three stars, and we stole all of the resources from this base. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. Looks like we stole, once again, over 530,000 resources. Not too great of a bonus, but we did manage to get 23 trophies. And I think that's going to do it as far as raiding goes. So those are pretty much like the only good battles I found within an hour and 10 minutes raiding. You can see I'm at 1,484 trophies. I started the day at 1,900 trophies, but I slowly started dropping down um, before I finally settled in right here. But yeah, let me go ahead and do some upgrades. I'm going to upgrade my other Dark Elixir drill to level 5 just because I have enough Elixir to do it. And then as far as gold goes, let me go ahead and upgrade this final Tesla to level 6. And I'm probably going to swap it inside of my base just for the fact that... um that is sort of a decoy on the outside and i guess i'll explain that in the uh, next episode all right guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video once again super sorry about not posting let's plays but i sort of talked about my reasons inside of this episode also make sure you tell me about your loot situation if you guys have found a trophy range that works out really well for you definitely drop it in the comment section below and try to help out the rest of my subscribers and yeah that's gonna do it for this video and i will see you guys later peace out